Sure, this is Alan. Hey, what's up, Alan? My name is Casey. Zach told me to give you a call about a job opening that you had. Yeah, yeah. How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for being willing to talk to me. No problem. Um, so can you tell me a little bit about what you're looking for? It's pretty cut and dry. Light truck maintenance, man. Okay. Uh, you just have to make sure the rigs are clean and ready to go out pretty much. Perfect, man. I'm very interested. All right. Uh, well, let, um, let me see. Let me have you come down here to the office, and I uh, just want to meet you, fill out some paperwork, you know, just uh, some routine kind of stuff. All right. That sounds great. Um, right. It's at this point in the conversation where I'm legally obligated to tell you I've been arrested for stealing trucks before. <laughs> well, wait, what? I'm sorry? What did you just say? What do you mean about coming down there? I said absolutely. No, 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 no. You you just said something about you were arrested for stealing trucks? Oh, that. Yeah, I was arrested for stealing trucks. Never convicted. So there's a big difference. <laughs> well, hey, it sounds like it's close to the same thing, man. You were obviously involved in something, right? No, 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 no. Here's what happened, okay? A few years ago, uh-huh. some guy, some jerk who looked exactly like me and also yeah. sounded like me, was hired by a few trucking companies, uh-huh. and that guy went on to steal over 27 trucks in one year. What? Yeah. Wait, dude, was this you? No, like I said, it was a guy. It was just crazy, man. Bad circumstances. And then he was a fugitive, and the law couldn't even find him for a while, so then the police obviously didn't want to look like idiots, and they arrested me as a scapegoat. What? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me get this straight. So a guy that looked like you mm-hmm. and sounded like you got arrested for stealing these trucks. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But it wasn't you. But well, at this point, I'm legally obligated to tell you that that trial is still going on. Well, and my lawyer would rather not have me discuss those details. Wait, 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 wait. So you're still dealing with this? So, wait, dude, you wouldn't be on trial if you weren't the guy. So you're the guy. You stole the trucks. Well, I can't really say much about it. Like I said, I can tell you this, though. I'm punctual. I'm always in a good mood, and I think I would be a great asset to your company, sir. No, you just told me that you're on trial for stealing 27 trucks. Dude, why would I hire you, bro? Be- because, what? Well, because I told you that it wasn't me. <laughs> and like, But I, it sounds exactly like you. Yeah, it was a guy who looks and sounds exactly like me. That's why it's tough to get rid of. But I promise you this, I'm always fun to be around. I'm in a really good mood. I come to work every day on time. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> you're a thief. So you're saying no? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You will never work here for this company. It's not going to work. I wish you wouldn't have done that. What? Yeah, because it's at this point in the conversation that I'm legally obligated to tell you three other trucking companies did not hire me, and I was arrested for burning down their buildings. Okay. okay. Arrested, sir, sir. Arrested. Never convicted. You burned down buildings? No, 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 no. You steal trucks, so I can't hire you. But you say if I hire, if I don't hire you, you gonna burn my building down? I never said that I stole trucks. I said I didn't actually, and I didn't say I was gonna burn your building down. I just said I'm trial for it. You basically did it. Somebody who looked like me and sounded like me did it, and my fingerprints happened to match the dude that did it. That happens all the time. It wasn't me. Wait, you have the same fingerprints? You're the guy. Can I call the police? Cause you did it. I'm letting you know now. You don't need to go to trial. You did it. Okay, well, it's at this point I'm legally obligated to tell you that this is a prank phone call. (laughs) Your employee, Zach, set you up. (laughs) He said that... He said you're trying to hire for a new position and you keep getting idiots applying. I didn't know. <laughs> Man, this when you said I'm legally obligated for the third time. I almost fell out my hair, bro. <laughs>